Alright, thank you all for being here. I'm Haley Luzak, I'm the CMO. I'm Ty Trojan, the CFO. I'm Peter Gokin, I'm the COO. I'm Alex Ruffalo, CEO. And we are Cherries. So, the uh, inspiration for our product uh, was um, after my soccer game, just uh, went over to the parents' side and uh, just saw a group of people just struggling with their camping chairs. And, and just, Looking in their eyes, they're just so sad. I, was, I felt so bad. Everybody was just trying to have a good time. So I figured I looked at them and I said, I'm going to solve your problem. And that's where the Cherries comes in. Cherries is a uh, more durable and portable solution for your uh, foldable camping chair. It, uh, it allows for easy portability for your chair and uh, uh, it's exchangeable between chairs. So once your chair breaks down, you can take your cherries and put it on your new chair because it's a lifetime product and it's going to last that long. And uh, it also has a pocket for easy portability, so uh, if you you don't have to worry about uh, taking taking care of your phone or keys while you're trying to watch your son or daughter soccer game. And uh, you know we're really uh, not only about giving to our customers, but also we uh, give back. We are a uh, we are a for-profit company on a mission, and uh, we donate a dollar on every product to uh, Good Sports Charity, which uh, allows uh, they uh, purchase sport, sports equipment for um, kids who aren't in a financial position for that. So, uh, so <clears throat> one of our main competitors is the clipping carry strap. Now, they technically aren't even our competitor. All they are is a little strap that wraps around the chair at one time and connects with the buckle. Unlike our product, this is to have a two-piece that you have to attach to the chair. Well, our product is always attached to the chair, and you can never lose it. So you, if you lose this, you have to go and buy a new product. Where well, you don't lose this, as long as you have your chair, you have cherries. Also, when we ordered this product, it came with a page of instructions, both front and back. Now, like me, a busy kid, I have no time reading instruction on how to put it on, if it gets fumbly and tangled up. For cherries, it's simple enough where you put these, um, these class on the back of your chair one time, and it's on there for life, unless you need to buy a new chair. Also, the click and carry strap, you have to um, buckle it and strap it around multiple times, where this is just a one-time, easy fold around the chair, and you're ready to go. Also, with the click and carry strap, it has no protection for the chair. As you see, it's just a strap one round around the legs of the chair, where our cherries has low water resistance and protects the fabric of the chair, keeping it safe in the chair longer for more use. All right, our indoor competitor is the bag itself, and this is the bag that the company provides when you initially buy your chair. The bad thing about this indoor competitor is that when your bag does rip or break, you're stuck with having to buy a totally new chair when you already have one that works perfectly fine. This is why cherries is better than our competitors, because you just wrap around your chair when your bag breaks, and you're good to go. For our TAM, we're at about 140 million people, and we got this by finding out that there are about 90 million campers in the U.S. who would ultimately use this product, as well as 50 million kids who play sports in the U.S. Our SAM is at about 35,000 people, and we got this by finding, oops, by finding out there are about 65,000 people who live in the Barrington area, and through surveys, we found out that 52% of those people will purchase two products. This is our cost of goods. This is what makes our product so incredible. And there are four main materials that are needed to create our product. One, ripstop nylon, that costs about, me, costs about $2. Second, velcro straps, costs about $1. Uh, third, nylon strap webbing, which costs about $1.15. And bun snaps, which costs about $0.15, cents, labor is $0.00, and total is $4.23. And you may, may be asking why labor costs zero dollars is because we, our team, will be making the, our product along with the VHA Sewing Club. We have been talking to them and we partner up with them and they will be helping us make our product. So our, we are selling our product, Cherries, for $15 per product. With our cost of $4.23, we'll be making a profit about $10.80 per product every time sold, leaving us with a 72% gross percent margin. But with, as um, Alex said, we are giving a dollar per chair to charity, giving us nine dollars per profit per product sold with a 65% gross percent margin. So here's our five year model. We are hoping in year one to sell around 600 products, and by year five, we are hoping to sell around 36,000 products. 
our next GNA is mostly for advertising in year one, and that'll be around three thousand dollars. And I think by year five, we'll be a bigger company, um, having SGA totals around one hundred eighty thousand dollars, with a lot more advertising and being more globally. Also, our operating income in year one will be around four thousand dollars, as we are giving to charity, so it would be a little less because we aren't selling as many products right away. And by year five, our operating income will be two hundred thousand dollars. And um, in through these couple of years, we won't be paying ourselves. We will be just fully invested into the company, and we will be <coughs> money towards there and trying to get us well known. So how do we get these numbers? Well, years one through three, we'll be staying local in the Barrington area. We'll be going to soccer games, soccer tournaments, baseball games, pitching up our stands, getting people well known of our cherries product. We'll be selling it right there to them, so when they come and watching a soccer game, they can buy our product, put it on their chair, and use it. Also, we'll be um, doing search engine optimization for advertising on Google, and this will be per weekly, so maybe one time or two times a week, we'll have a um, pay three dollars for our um, product to be advertised on Google, and so that will help us with advertising not only to locally but a little bit more globally. And then by years four and five, you're hoping to get an OEM where our product cherries will be sold with every single chair you purchase at Sport Authority, Dicks, or anywhere you want to purchase our chair. Our product will come with it. And then also our NSGR tools are higher because our advertising will be daily where we can always be on the highest Google um, search engine and our product will always be well known. And this is our FVP. Our minimum viable product consists of our product trades. Secondly, our uh, minimum viable, viable product also consists of using Google AdWords and Google AdSense which allows us to get to top uh, search engines like Google when um, Someone searches uh, like, like uh, searches words that kind of connect to our chair. Lastly, we will be using uh, fully running websites where people can purchase our product uh, on the website directly, so that they don't have to like go onto like Amazon or something like that. We will have a fully running website where they can just add to cart and purchase it. And. Our number one goal with our MVP is to stay connected with our customers, and we plan to do this by using social media accounts such as Facebook, Twitter, and WordPress. We figured Facebook would be the best way to get connected with our local consumers, whereas our blog is on WordPress, and we're using that to get connected with people who aren't as local, but are still interested in our product. The best thing about these three websites is that they're all free, so we will not have to pay anything towards them. And we'll be using these mainly for updating our followers on improvements we made on our product, as well as upcoming deals and events that we'll be attending. All right, and this is why we are here today to seek money. Um, we are at total money. We are seeking six hundred dollars. First, we are seeking two hundred seventy-five dollars uh, to make uh, sixty-five units, and uh, two hundred seventy-five dollars is uh, material for the twelve sixty-five units. Secondly. We want to have a total running, fully running business plan website, uh, and we believe which allows us, um, to, which allows people to purchase our pro product um, directly from our uh, website. Thirdly, marketing such as Google AdWords and Google AdSense, and we'll be paying three dollars and ninety-five cents per day, um, uh, and we'll do three days out of the week for ten weeks, and that is around one hundred twenty-five dollars, and total six hundred dollars. And first, we'll be using our money uh, to create inventory. Secondly, we want to have a fully running website, and we want to have a fully running website after uh, we create inventory because we want our uh, customers uh, to not to be happy, so that and they don't have to wait for their uh, uh, product when they purchase it. Thirdly, we will be using Google Marketing so that. Uh, we get to top search engines uh, when they search our name or like things that relate to our product. Fourthly, we will sell initial inventory, and once we sell initial inventory, all 65 products, we'll be able to pay you, our investors, full back money, and we'll have $100 in profit, which allows us uh, to carry on with our business and create even uh, large inventory. Uh, and lastly, we'll of course give you back the money and carry on with our business. So we are not only a business, but we are a community. We at Charities are also wanting to donate to charity, as we said, to help out the community, not only in Barrington, but globally. As a group of kids, we want to make not only an impact with chairs making life easier and stress less stressful. We want to make an impact one small time at a time, um, one small chair at a time. Stress so yourself this. If you need something that got your back, Charities is the strap that can do just that.
guys make that prototype? We did make it. Yes. Nicely done. Like, it, you know, just Can you pass it around? Yeah, yeah. sure thing. Um, just a thought. It is winter right now, and few people are going to be outside actually using one of those. Um, so something to think about in your MVP execution, consider using the seasons to your advantage. And because you have a prototype, um, rather than having to create inventory, then stockpile it, and then hope to sell it, because it's winter, use that to your advantage and consider flipping it. You've got a prototype to demonstrate, which is great, and consider getting pre-orders. Um, this is not such a tough concept to understand, and you've got a beautiful prototype to demonstrate it. So um, by getting pre-orders, and maybe not even getting money yet, or just you know, a little bit, you may not need as much money to have that risk, to put into the risk of the materials and creating it. Just something I would have a totally about. different opinion on that, actually. I would give them $600. When you pay us back, we'll give you more. Because okay. <laughs> if we can make a profit on this, so. just it's an easy proposition if you can sell 65 of these that we could just keep. Yeah, you, you guys really did an outstanding job on this. Very well thought out yeah. and very clear and believable. Um, in fact, I was sitting, like, like I kind of, I agree, kind of see Margarita's point, but I immediately thinking, why don't you have the, you know, Broncos or, or, or a logo on it, sports logos? Why isn't it the color of the team? You know, because your buyer. I mean, that was one of the questions I had for you. Who's actually your your customer? Is it the parents that are going to show up the money? Is it the kids? Um, who are you targeting in, in the consumer market? And and how can you get that because people have a chair, it came with a cover. Mm -hmm. So you have to give them a reason to want to spend more money, you know, to, for the convenience. So anyway, you could talk to me about that a little bit. I would definitely say our customer segment would be parents, um, mostly moms in that sense, and dads of course, but mostly feel like moms usually have to bring two or three kids to soccer games and they're carrying two or three chairs. And definitely there's definitely some <coughs> point in their life where they bet their bag has ripped. And then you can't, I mean, we looked and you can't just go buy a bag for your chair because different chairs are different sizes. And so the bag only goes for a certain size. You have to buy a whole new chair. With our product, it just goes in every single chair. So it would be a lot more easier for moms just to buy our product and have it with that. And then also kind of to answer your question with like in season is that um, we do have already some pre-sales. Already, especially right. all of our families really love our product. We, <laughs> some people from my dad's business have already said they would love to have our product. And also the field house is we will go there and ask, because um, they definitely have kids. If their kids are playing soccer in the field house, they definitely play outside. So they would be able to use it. And you're, you're timing this to April, right? <coughs> that, yeah. That, that's when outdoor sports start. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. And personally, I play baseball, and we have tryouts in March, so games are be starting soon anyway. So. I think you're underselling your opportunity. Most of the time I'm sitting here going, oh, you can't make it. I think you're grossly underselling the opportunity here. Uh, you, you have multiple sales channel outlets. One is fundraisers for baseball teams and others, and they say they want that you sell to them for 15, they sell for 20, whatever price you, they, they get to step on it to make the fundraiser, and I totally agree with Mark Green on logoing it and branding it and making it feel yeah. special. And if there's anything else you can use that to make it more comfortable or even once you've undone it, and you know, you're sitting there and share, is there anything else you could possibly do with that product? Blanket. What's that? Yeah. A blanket, a blanket. Yeah. Or a cushion. Yeah. Because you're always freezing as a parent watching sports in March and April. So if it could be a multi-use product in some way, you could consider that. But I think you're underselling it, and you should study other companies that came up with simple ideas, because your patentable issues, you're, we're not going to be able to afford a patent, but it's very popular. That's, right. that's probably the biggest risk, yeah. unless you come up with something unique. Could you, really. clarify, could you clarify again the uh, kind of the whole the whole business model? The you're, you're just selling this at cost or like a good margin? No, no, it's like a good margin. Oh, okay, sorry. But that's you selling direct. You have to go through distribution. Okay. Which you're not proposing right now, you have to bring them some juice. You're going OEM, which is different. And you will have to pay labor at some point. Yeah, yeah. 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 The sewing idea was great, yeah. but the, yeah. you and the, your local sewing club. One, one yeah. So and remember, we are at an MVP stage. If you start complicating it with logos or you start complicating it with different channels, you will, uh, you'll make it, you'll stretch the definition of minimum. So, these ideas that you're getting, 
you have a very clear timeline in the next week what you're doing in the following week by in, in, in relatively short order, seven or eight weeks, you're going to see if you sold 65 of these. The ideas that you're getting from everybody are, wow, don't, don't just limit yourself to selling this. As you're going through the MVP, try to say, hmm, would somebody like if this was a cushion that could slip on their chair or make or convert it into a blanket or get a logo? These are extensions, uh, but this is the base. So this is your MVP, wonderful, keep it. All of the ideas that you're hearing are possible add-ons. That use the MVP to ask your customer, gosh, if this was a cushion, would that be great? If this had a logo on it, would it be great? Advertiser, just go around and go to grassroots and go to the Living 6001 and say, would you guys pay to put your logo on this? That could be additional experiments that you're running uh, but not, not necessarily if you're, if you're complicating the production. I would, I would say the MVP, I would like to see maybe even test price point. Well, what is your competitor's strap cost? On um, the competitor's strap, we order it, <laughs> um, order it from Amazon, and it costs $13 plus shipping. Okay. And so, I mean, so and it came with only two so straps. You're close, you're close to the yeah, and you're getting a lot more value for the oh, yeah. 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 You're not going to the pocket. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I just, I, I, yeah, um, I, I feel like we should test, maybe test out different price points with different different audiences, and maybe a different, um, you know, charging a different if somebody wants to do a, a sponsored one like you mm -hmm. mentioned. Can I build on a comment that I had though regarding the execution of your MVP? What I've seen now for a couple of years is um, students have got a, a, a great plan. Don't worry about but it. But on some level, <laughs> <laughs> but on some level, though they're they're relying upon. Where we'll have a great product, but the sports need to be in season. So they, so my point is, um, you're going to need to do a couple things at the same time. So Mr. Miles has got a great point of this is a simple product. Go ahead and execute it and, and build those 65. But perhaps a couple of you focus on getting to the field house and getting your sales going now. Don't wait till April because pitch is made. And we really, I would be, be really sad if we're here in May and say, well, we only started executing this two weeks ago and we don't have enough information yet. Great that point. Would be a if you want to get funding, come to pitch night or any investor meeting Save with orders out. in hand. Yeah. Yep. Yes. That's a very you fundable. You sold out the 65 and you've got orders for another 100. So you're going to have to multitask here. And there's four of you. So not if every one of you is going to be buying a sewing machine. How long will it take to make 65? Uh, probably, uh, probably two, three weeks. Yeah, we will probably have done two, three weeks. Now. What are you going to do for the sewing club as a thank you? We're thinking, like, uh, buy them some pizzas or something. <laughs> 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 Alex, what do we got? <laughs> You're, you go wrap it up then, I guess. Good. Yeah, so let's let uh, can you go back to the MVP numbers here? So the website it does it is two hundred dollars for the website. Yeah, for six months. I mean to literally just have the web to be on weekly. Well, no, we have a free one right now. And it, our website domain is like cherries.weekly.com. Okay. We want like a professional website would be cherries, www.cherries.com. And also the business plan would let us have the access to add to cart. People can just right. purchase a product right on the website. Okay. And no, register it for website. And have you checked out Shopify as well? Um, we have looked at that a little bit. So. Okay. And just check out to see if it's, mm -hmm. you know, gives you something without okay. this great expense. I, I think we're probably fine giving you $600. Uh, the idea with it is if you could sell out and you're run out of inventory and you need to, you need more money to make more, because uh, you're only going to make $100 in this, right? Yeah. Well, you make 300 right? Well, we would give you back all the $600 and then we would make $100 in profit. We would use that money then to make more products. And that allows us to make yes. 25 products and then we sell that 25 or okay. $300. Well, if you get, if you get over there. I don't understand why you're only making 100. Yeah. Because it's all margin. Stop the back. Yeah, you're selling this for a margin, right? Aren't you yeah, selling this for 15? How much are you selling? We're selling 15. 
15, yeah, so maybe 72% without the uh, 10 feet times 65 at 6. Oh, that's right. I guess you have to mine all that. Yeah. Well, no, it's not because if it's 65 units well, times $15, we would, after 65 products, we would then give uh, uh, money to charity. Because we, we yeah, first sixty-five dollars. We're gonna wrap up here. So you're at a, you're at nine hundred ten dollars net after charity, and you, have, you should be at three hundred dollars. That's yeah. That seems, uh, that seems just check your math. I mean, yeah. I, I didn't do very well in math, but that's like, <laughs> sixty-five it's, it's, times it's, fifteen is nine seventy-five. Minus sixty-five dollars is nine ten. Yeah. All right. Great job, guys. Thank you.